What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Unreal C++ Fundamentals video. Today we'll be discussing Unreal structs and enums. Ustructs are user-defined structures in Unreal Engine that allow you to create custom data types. They're incredibly useful for organizing and managing data within your game. They enable you to create custom variable types to organize your data by relating data types to each other. Structs should be used for simple data type combining and data management. For complex interactions with the game world, you should use either UObject or a actor subclasses instead. To create a Ustruct, start by declaring it using the Ustruct macro. This tells Unreal Engine that you're defining a structure. In order to expose this struct to blueprints, define the struct as a blueprint type. Next, define the struct by using the struct definition and then give your struct a name. Struct names are required to start with an F. Convention dictates that you give it the same name as the name of your file, but this isn't required. As you can define more than one struct on the same file, try to keep the naming relative to their intended purpose. Just like other definitions, generated body is required in the body of the struct definition. Inside the struct, you can declare variables just like in a regular C++ class. These variables will represent the data you want to store. You can use any native types and you can also use pointers and references to other objects. It's important to note that structs as a whole are not replicated for multiplayer. You should get in the habit of declaring your variables as a U property, not only for replication purposes, but for garbage collection. In this example, variable 1 can be seen and read only in blueprints. Variable 2 can both be set and read in blueprints. Without these declarations, even though the struct is set as blueprint type, you would not be able to see these variables in blueprints. Variable 3 is set as a U property, but it won't be seen in blueprints. Having now been declared for blueprints, you are automatically given break and make nodes inside blueprints. You should always try to initialize your struct variables when they are created. You can do this by defining a constructor as seen in this example. The only time you may not want to initialize a variable is when you know the variable type has its own default. Using the constructor will ensure this struct is initialized whenever a new instance is created. Functions are allowed in your structs, but there are some important rules and guidelines you should follow. It's recommended to only include functions that do not have any side effects. Side effects include modifying external state or causing changes that go beyond the scope of the use struct itself. Ideally, functions inside your use struct would be made pure. Pure functions are those that depend only on their input parameters and don't modify any external state. Avoid accessing and modifying external state or global variables within functions inside a use struct. This helps maintain encapsulation and avoids unexpected behavior. Keep in mind that use structs are designed for efficient data storage and manipulation. Adding complex functions with high computational cost might impact performance. If you plan to use the use struct in networking or replication scenarios, be aware that functions inside the use struct may not behave as expected during serialization and replication. It's generally safer to keep Ustructs simple and data focused for such use cases. Ustructs cannot contain virtual functions or inheritance. They're meant to be simple data containers. Here's an example of what a function could look like in a struct. Also note that you cannot use the uFunction macro inside of a struct, which means that the functions created in a Ustruct are not accessible in blueprints. Always consider the intended use case and keep functions inside Ustructs lightweight and focused on data manipulation rather than complex logic or external interactions. There are a couple of ways to create a Ustruct in Unreal C++. There is no native template for a struct in Unreal C++, so instead you can create a C++ class as usual, but choose the None template. Name the class and choose this location as usual, and when the class opens in your IDE, you can safely delete the .cpp file as it's not used. Since this is a default empty class, we will need to clean up the code it generates by default so we can utilize it as a struct. Ensure you include the generated.h directive for your struct. If you want your struct usable as a type in blueprints, give the struct the blueprint type specifier. Next, ensure the name of your struct begins with the letter F. Without it, your code will throw an error. Lastly, make sure you have the generated body macro at the beginning of your struct. It's worth noting that you can, in fact, define multiple structs within the same file as long as the struct have a different name. Now, when this file is included in another class, you will have access to each of the structs defined in this file. Keep in mind, it is good practice to only put multiple structs in the same file if they have some form of relation to your project. For example, if you have multiple structs for your different weapon types, it may be convenient to put each struct within the same file. Declare your struct such as you would with any other variable. Defining its type is the name of your f struct. 
You cannot forward declare your structs in your header files such as you do with classes. This is one of the rare instances where you will need to include your struct file in your header file in order to use it. In this example, because I have multiple structs in the same file, I have access to both structs while including the single file. Creating your structs in their own file allows you a lightweight option for including your structs in multiple classes, but what if you didn't need your struct to be used everywhere? Well, you can define your struct before your class declaration in your header files like this. You can then use the struct within this class just like you would any other struct. This method is not as portable as you can only access a struct from a different class if this class is included as a whole. Decide which works best for your needs and go with it. Let's move on to the UENUM. In case you're unaware, an enum is a user-defined data type that represents a set of named integer values. Enums are used to define a fixed set of possible states or options for a variable. They provide a way to improve code readability by using descriptive names for specific values instead of relying on raw integers. Enums are very similar to structs in how they are created and implemented. Create a blank C++ class, give it a name and a file location, delete its CPP file, and delete the default code in the header file. The UENUM declares the enum visible to Unreal Engine. The specifier blueprint type exposes the enum to blueprints. The enum class emyenum declares an enum named emyenum, and the class specifier specifies that it is a scoped C11 style enum. Enum names must begin with the letter E or an error will occur. UINT8 specifies the underlying data type of the enum to be represented by an 8-bit unsigned integer, keeping the file size smaller. Everything within the curly brackets are then your individual enum values, separated by a comma. You can include UMeta specifiers. Here, the display name is a value's name rather than the code-generated name, and the hidden specifier will hide the value from the editor. Unlike the struct, you can forward declare your enum and include it in your CPP file, or because an enum file is generally so small, you could include it in your header file as well if you choose. When setting an enum value, you need to first give the enum name followed by two colons, then your value. Similar to the struct, you can either create your uenum as we've done to this point as a separate file that can be included in other classes. Alternatively, you can define your enum in the header file above your U class declaration. This will localize your enum to that particular class and any class that includes this class. Like the struct, you can also declare more than one enum per file, but good practice says you should only put related enums in the same file. Hope you guys found this quick video useful and that you now have a better understanding of structs and enums. If so, consider smashing that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing while you're down there liking it and hit the bell to be notified whenever a new video drops. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below or consider joining the Discord channel to get personal assistance by me as well as the community. Again, thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace.